Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and uh, today I'm doing another review of the Heat Pulse Knee Massager made by Hydrogun. So we're going to check out this product in a little while. Before we start the video we're going to unbox and also just a quick disclaimer to say that this was sent to me for free by Hydrogun to review and give you my own honest opinion. Hydrogun haven't seen this video yet so it is purely my own opinion of this product. So let's quickly uh, have a look to see what we actually get inside the box. As per usual, a very, very well constructed uh, box. Very good quality. So there we go, there's the uh, control unit. So inside here, I presume this is the, uh, the knee pad. Wow. This is really, really good quality. First impressions, this is a uh, really good quality. So, uh, what else do we get inside the box? We've got the, uh, I presume this is the, uh, oh, it's an extra strap, which I shall find out what that's for, and a USB cable. So you get a quick uh, start guide, as per usual. With Hydra Gun, you get a ton of information explaining everything so I'll have a good read of that later on and just a quick welcome letter as well so now we've unboxed now we get on with the review so I believe this is actually their second uh, generation of these so it's called the heat pulse 2 knee massager uh, uh, for example longer battery which I would say is pretty important uh, higher temperature as well uh, different variations on the massage control. It looks like the other one didn't have a buckle. But this apparently allows for a wider range of um, limb sizes. So it, it, this will definitely fit everyone. Comes with an additional strap. So this can actually be used as well, if you wanted to, for using on your shoulders as well. Which I haven't tried out yet, but I'm pretty sure, knowing how it feels on your knee, it's gonna be pretty good on your shoulder as well. Who is this designed for? This is designed for anybody with any kind of knee problems at all. Whether it's uh, knee arthritis, type of sprains or knee strains. Post-surgery, I would say it'd be a, a big benefit. And any type of uh, knee injury caused from any types of sports really, whether that's an impact sport or a non-impact sport, running, football, etc. Before I tell you about how it, how it works and how to operate it, I'll just quickly run through how it's been going for the last couple of weeks, me using this. Now, me, me and the wife have been using it because my wife uh, suffers from knee problems as well. Uh, I think I did mention before that she'd been using my um, massage gun as well. So that's been a benefit for both of us. I've been using it before my runs as well. Uh, I've been finding it really, really beneficial on actually warming my knees up I find that it uh, just get, gets them nice and nimble, nice and warm, and it makes it a lot easier to get into my runs. As you all know, not only am I a runner, but I'm a gardener as well. And on top of that, I'm in my mid fifties now. So you can imagine the strain that I put on my body, not only with the job, but with the training as well. Now with my job, I'm constantly using my knees, climbing ladders, sweeping up debris that I've dropped, leaves etc. You carrying heavy machinery and also having to dig holes to plant plants and weeding etc. So given my experience with my running and my job, I believe I'm well equipped to provide you with an honest, informed opinion about the heat pulse knee massager. So now I'm gonna show you how to work it. Right, now I'm going to show you how the heat pulse knee massager works. So first of all, you want to get your strap, get the little um, control pod, put the pod to one side for a minute while you um, put the, uh, the, knee, the knee strap on. So you want to get it up this way round, so the little metal connectors are at the top. Guide it onto your knee, find where the little massage eggs are there, and just sort of tease them into the side of your knee slightly so you can just get a rough position. Pull the strap round into the buckle, get a nice 
firm strapping round there. You want it, you want it tight, but you don't want it too tight. You want it just snug, I would say. There you go. Just double check. That's in a good position. Get the control pod. It can go either way. Pop that on. Simple as that. Right, now we're ready to uh, switch the device on. So it's one button for a few seconds. You get a little beep to say that it's on. So we've got a lovely display there. We've got two, two settings on here, two controls, temperature and speed. The temperature goes up from 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and that's to the maximum, which I believe is, is two, two settings higher than the, the first one. The speed, again, has three settings. I can order all, I can feel that heat building already. It's uh, it doesn't take long at all. Speed one is just like a, a small vibration with a little break in between. And now it's vibrating again. You probably can't hear that on the speaker. So that's vibrating now. So it feels a little bit like having a mobile phone in your pocket almost, I'd say. Same sort of uh, vibration. And then you've got speed two, which is a little bit less of a rest period in between, more constant. And then speed three. Now you can't see this screen now, but I will show you in a second. So that, that speed is more going, 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 which is more sort of, uh, I wouldn't say it's even intense, but it's just a, a nice, it's getting, it's drawing that, pushing that heat, distributing that heat into the knee. So as you can see from this angle here, you can see the two massage balls there and they are, this is on the maximum setting and it is gently massaging my knee. As well as I've got the heat on maximum on 70 and that is building nicely. I know 70 sounds quite high but I can tell you it's not a burning feel at all. It's a very, very controlled, gentle heat and it really, really gets into the knee. I can feel my knee loosening up nicely already. So that's why I mentioned before about, I actually quite like this for using before I go for a run, but everyone's different. I mean, it's gonna be great come winter training as well, getting a little bit of an extra warm in the knees, as well as when you come back from a run. The great thing about this as well, now, now they've sorted the issue out on this, the Heat Pulse 2 compared to the Heat Pulse 1, They've obviously rectified the, the battery issues. So now you get up to three hours battery life. So that's gonna give you six 30 minute sessions, which is pretty good going, even on the maximum setting. All right, I'll quickly show you now the control. So the on button is just a simple one touch for a few seconds. So you've got your temperature and your speed, and you've got minus and plus on each side. So just by simply pressing the plus button, it, like I was saying, it jumps up in fives all the way to 70. And you've got your speed on this side as well, going all the way up to three. So pretty straightforward, easy to understand. Nice interface uh, screen there to the uh, heat pulse number one. Uh, I believe you couldn't control the heat and the speed separately. So if you wanted to use this just for heat, for example, if you needed to warm your knees up without any massaging, you can do it separate. So you can just turn turn off the massager altogether and just have your knee knees nicely warmed up. So it's really like having a, an automatic hot water bottle, but, but without having to boil the water and not have to worry about it cooling down. I've been really, really pleased with it. Many thanks to Hydra Gun for sending it to me because I'm definitely gonna find it very, very useful. Me and the wife as well. And also with me running, even going out before a run, which I've already said that. Forget you're, you're to be sitting down, preferably with your leg laying down on a couch or something with support. Do not walk around with it on, whilst it's just not gonna do its job properly. So my honest opinion is that I absolutely love this. I really do believe it's beneficial for 
anybody really, whether you're a runner or not. If you've got knee problems, arthritis and things like that, it's going to improve that blood flow with the massage and the heat. It's going to get the blood flow going around them knees. Again, if you're a runner, it's going to be beneficial. If you've got any little niggles going on, it's going to get that blood flow circulation going. As we all know, uh, being runners, the key to healing quicker is to getting that blood flow around the knees. So it's not always easy. The convenience of not having to boil the kettle with boiling hot water. And there's always a danger as well with a hot water bottle. It's always very tempting that it can get a little bit too hot. But with this, the heat is just completely controlled just by a simple touch of the button. So I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm glad that I've had the chance uh, to review it because it's uh, going to come in very handy for us as well here at home as well to use. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget there's going to be a link below uh, for a discount as well. So check out that as well. And don't forget to leave any comments as well, any questions that you might have about it. Um, I'm pretty sure that Hydra Gun do read them comments. So if there's anything that I can't answer, hopefully they might be able to uh, interact as well and answer any questions. And also, if you've been enjoying my past videos, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up as well. So I'll hopefully catch you all soon for another review and another running video. Catch you all later.